All right, welcome everyone to Know Wallet Demo 34. Uh, we were going to discuss today Wallet Connect V2 integration and demo. Then we're going to check what has been released as the XM transfers fixed. And then we're going to remind regarding our Polka treasury proposal. So let's dive into it. All right, uh, quick reminder that you can join the NoWallet communities by following this link in the slides or by scanning the QR code, uh, which you can see on the screen and on the YouTube uh, recording now. And let's begin. The Wallet Connect V2 demo. Before diving into the demo itself, let's quickly sync up on what Wallet Connect is. Uh, basically, the Wallet Connect is not only the protocol, but nowadays it's infrastructure, which helps Web3 to connect with each other. Web3 are uh, basically applications to connect with each other. The most common use case is whenever the mobile wallet connects to the decentralized application um, hosted in the web. So that's the most uh, common use case. But besides that, there are lots of uh, features that nowadays the team is building. But today, specifically, we are going to discuss the wallet connect integration in terms of scanning the QR code from your mobile device. Uh, in order to connect your mobile wallet with certain DApp um, out there. And the reason why we decided to jump in and integrate the Wallet Connect today, uh, I mean, these days, is that recently they have integrated, uh, they have evolved to the version two, and they are now a chain agnostic protocol or multi-chain protocol, which means that the Polkadot ecosystem is now finally supported, right? Moreover, they're going to do the hard integration uh, by the end of the summer, which will sunset the version one, which exists nowadays in all wallets out there. And they will switch to the V2, which means that you as a no wallet user would be able to use any DApp out there um, if the network is supported in Nova, of course. So this is the perfect timing for us to integrate the Wallet Connect. For the scope of the integration, uh, it is listed on the screen, but let's just quickly go through it. Uh, so we're going to add the Wallet Connect button right now in the settings, but later on, you would be able to see it also on the Assets tab as soon as we will redesign uh, the tab, which is planned. Uh, the next one is, of course, you can add the new connection. Right now, we're going to support the QR codes, which means that you are able to scan the QR codes uh, from your, let's say, laptop or the desktop device and utilize your interface which is running on a desktop but sign operations on your mobile device which is no wallet we will also show you your active connections so that you can manage them remove them if needed and of course whenever you do any operation on a desktop for an active wallet connect session you will see a pop-up similar to the one that you see in our dia browser to sign the operation so you can review the separation and sign or reject this so release for the Wallet Connect will arrive next week for both iOS and Android, which is really exciting news. So let's see the demo itself. For the demo, I'm going to use my Android emulator. You're pretty much familiar with this. Let me know if you cannot see that. Uh, and I'm going to use two DApps. First one is a kind of testing DApp uh, built by the Wallet Connect application so that teams like no Wallet can test their integration. And the second one is actually, I believe that it is a first DApp in the ecosystem, which is available into the production with the Wallet Connect V2 integration, which is Moonbeam DApp, right? So we're going to try to connect to the Moonbeam DApp from the Nova Wallet and try to execute some transactions and see how it works. So if that sounds good, let's proceed. The first one, I'm going to explain like a basics and how it works uh, in terms of like a life cycle, I would say. Uh, I will use the, um, the DApp uh, for the testing purposes developed by the Wallet Connect team. So what we see now in the Nova Wallet. So in the settings, you can find this button, Wallet Connect. And right now you can see one connection active. So if I tap here, I will see that that basically means that uh, I have connected to certain DApp. I can press on it and get more details. And we can pretty much see that this is the same DApp basically. Right. I can see my wallet connected to it. I can see the icon, the name, and I can see the networks that uh, basically provided to this DApp that DApp required from the no wallet and that are going to be used uh, for the communication. And I can see the status and I can disconnect the session. So it's pretty straightforward. 
But what it means is that right now, if I do any operation on my D app here on my laptop, that will be translated to my mobile application for signing. So let's try to do this. Uh, I have two networks here because I have established connection for Polkadot and Ethereum. Both networks are supported in Node Wallet, so I can try to execute some calls from this DApp. Let's say it will be like assigning the message. We can see that uh, the DApp is saying that you can proceed with your mobile wallet. And if I open my mobile wallet, I can see the signing request. As I mentioned, it is pretty similar to the, to the one that we usually see in the DApps. So I can see the DApp, I can see the wallet, I can see the account, which is going to be used for the signing, and I can check the transaction details. Right, so I can uh, tap reject, which will cancel the operation, or I can tap confirm, which will basically sign the operation. And we can see that immediately on the D app, uh, it is received our signed message. So here is the content and basically uh, all the details. So let's try again. So let's try to sign uh, the message from the D app and then try to reject it. So we see the reject confirmation. So the signing was rejected. And also we can try to do the same type of communication, but through the Ethereum network and the wallet connect. So let's try to do the similar call. Now we see the different uh, account address because it's Ethereum wallet. And we also can check uh, basically the details of this operation, if it makes sense. And then we can confirm or reject. So let's confirm it. And we can see that the app received this message signed. So that's cool. Um, also, what is cool is how this integration works. So let's say you just establish connection with certain DApp, and then you just closing it, right? So let's say you just finished the business and yeah, you turned your phone off, which means that if I try to kind of do something right now, nothing will happen because the, the no world is not opened, right? So I cannot sign any operation. But still, the connection itself in the DApp, you can see that still exists, right? So if I try to ping my session, and after that, I can try to open the no wallet, we can see that as soon as I open it, basically, the DApp receives the confirmation that the session is now active again from the no wallet side, because no wallet, as soon as it's opened, refreshing all the sessions to the no, uh, to the wallet connect, saying that, hey, I'm active, so now we can proceed uh, communicating again. So this is really cool. Another cool thing that you can disconnect the session at all. So you can see that basically I can choose different networks. So let's select again uh, Ethereum and the Polkadot. And as soon as I again type the connect after I have disconnected my session, I'm able, but this is depending on the job that you're using, but I'm able to resume my previous session. So I can see that there is no active sessions in my no wallet, but if I will press here, basically, that will not require me to scan the QR code, but I just need to connect it one more time. And here we go. Again, the same session with me is established. So this is pretty nice thing if you want to kind of control this uh, session. So as soon as you finish that business in the DApp, you can press the disconnect and then you're basically not bothered with any type of uh, calls that sent from the DApp uh, to your Nova, right? And at the same time, if you want to resume it, you can do it much easier because no need to scan uh, QR code required, right? So you can just press it like that. So this is how it works from um, in terms of like the life cycle. So the session is active as uh, as long as the no wallet is running, right? But you can also like close the application seven days or more past and then open application and it still would be able to be used, right? So I don't need to establish the sessions each time, which is really great because imagine if I'm using this DApp on a daily basis, so I don't need to scan the QR codes or establish the connection every time. This is super convenient. So let's try to do re the real stuff. So let's try to connect uh, with the Moonbeam DApp. So for that, uh, I'm going to press the setup wallet here. And here I'm going to select the wallet connect V2. And then I'm going to connect the wallet. So this is the QR code that I need to scan. But remember that I'm using the emulator on the same device. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to take a picture of this um, QR code right now that you can see on the screen. Let's make sure that the picture is nice. And then I will try to scan it from my iPhone, basically. So let me go here. And I can establish as many connections in the node as I want. So now we can see this connection um, with the React app, which is basically the test application. So now let's try to connect with the real one, which is Moonbeam. So let's try to scan the QR code. This is me. Uh, let me flip it like that for the convenience. And let me scan it. Hopefully the lighting is good. Sometimes it's taking some time, but yeah. So now we can see that the Moonbeam app is requesting access to our addresses, but this is basically the establishing the session, right? So I have scanned the QR code successfully. I can take a look of the networks that the Moonbeam app is requiring. And we can see that the Moonbeam is required and also Moonriver and Moonbase are optional. So maybe some features on this app involves more than one network, more than just the Moonbeam network. So this is what I can see already now. I can also select any other wallet that, that I can uh, that I have in the Nova right now. So by default, uh, it is selected to be the one that you currently operate in Chris. But I can also select any wallet, including Ledger and the Party Signer, which is super interesting use cases. You can now use the Party Signer wallet with the Wallet Connect protocol. But we are not going to touch this on the demo. We're going to touch just the basic scenario with uh, the wallets that are stored on your Nova. So I press allow and let's see what happens. So in the Nova, I can see that the session is established, right? And in Moonbeam app, I can now see my address and I can basically see everything um, in the user interface corresponding to my, um, to my account from the Nova wallet. And now I'm able to use the desktop version of the Moonbeam app while having my keys actually stored in the Nova wallet, right? So the cool thing that I can go here to the staking and Moonbeam and I can see the same feature here, right? So we can see that uh, basically my balance here, my stake, my total rewards, it's pretty much matching up to the 0 0.1 glimmer, which is cool. Let me check maybe other call for the crowd one rewards. So let's try to claim the crowd one rewards. We can see that the call is pretty much different. And if I tap confirm here, let's see, uh, it says that it's confirmed. So let's check this and it says that it's success. So let me check one again, once again, the history into the Nova. Yeah, so I can finally find the operation. And this is probably, from what I see, this is a claim operation, right? So the claim operation, our claim operation was successfully sent from the uh, Wallet Connect app, uh, from the Moonbeam app through the Wallet Connect. So we can try to do something else. Let's try to decrease staking amount. So let's go to the um, staking collators and we can see that I have this setup and let's take one talent glimmer from this collator which is this one so let's decrease the staking for one thousand glimmer and let's confirm this into the no wallet so it says decrease transaction sent let's check it uh, into the explorer And we're waiting for the details here. And it seems that it's working. Yeah, we also can see the unstaking into the Nova. So let's try again the after compounding. So we have sent this transaction to the blockchain and let's wait. We can also check the operation history into the Nova. 
now it says that the after compounding our transaction confirmed which means that it went through because I can see that after compound was enabled so this is a good news in general you can see that integration works uh, it works pretty wonderful whenever it works <laughs> so we will see what we can do to improve it um, with the Moonbeam team and with other teams all right so are there any questions for the wallet connect integration Yeah, so we finally can see all the calls uh, in the operation history, which is great. All right, so if there are no questions, let me go back to the slides. We have a couple of minutes more, and let's see what we have. XM transfers fix. So this was delivered as a hotfix because um, with the XM version upgraded, there were also the upgraded version of the X tokens palette, which has a breaking uh, changes to the cross chain transfers uh, if updated, right? So it required us to enable um, some updates on no wallet side, which means that in order for the cross chain transfers to properly work on the networks which are using X tokens palette, such as, for example, uh, Bifrost, right? You would be need to update your no wallet to at least version 6.1. Point two, you would receive the notification uh, right inside your app that you need to update it in order to the cross chain transfers work properly. But in any case, this is uh, important to highlight on the demo as well. So make sure that your app is updated to the latest version. And the fourth treasury proposal of the NOAA. Uh, so after two weeks of discussion on Kusama, we have decided to publish it to the bulk of the treasury because um, analyzing the discussion with the community, we just came up to the conclusion that it would be more reasonable for us to go to the Polka Treasury instead of uh, trying to uh, propose it on the Kusama, right? The scope pretty much re uh, remains the same. We have decided to proceed uh, with implementing the features. So you can see that one of the features of this proposal is actually Wallet Connect V2, which was uh, pretty much on the demo today. So, yeah. Uh, feel free to go onto the, the on the discussion on the Polka assembly and feel free to review the proposal itself. Let us know what you think, and we would be happy to discuss it there. And I believe that would be it from my side. So let me check the chat. New tech and emulator, the final boss of demos. <laughs> yeah. It's it's always always happens when you're on the cutting edge of the technologies, but uh, but it feels good. So since the wallet connect uh, is a new version of the protocol as well, uh, I can assume that yeah, lots of things can uh, can go wrong on the such demos, especially if you're using the emulators. But it's great that everything went successfully. So we were uh, successful in showing the demo of the Nova. All right, if there are no questions, then thanks everyone who joined and I will see you in two weeks. Cheers, have a nice one.